Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Hi friends, how are you? Today in this video you will learn how to configure SSH on Cisco Switch 2960. Let me just open the Cisco Packet Tracer and wait for it to open Cisco Packet Tracer. This is the main page of Cisco Packet Tracer. I am going to take one Switch 2960 and one desktop computer from the end devices this is the PC let me connect these two devices from here I'm connecting this PC with the switch now the PC is connected with the switch now let's go to configure the switch to configure the switch just simply click on the switch when you click on the switch this window will appear and just go to the CLI mode now I am in the CLI mode and this is the user mode uh, let me go to privilege mode to go to privilege mode you should type the command enable now I am in the uh, privilege mode and uh, let me go to global configuration mode to go to global configuration mode you need to type the command conf t uh, let me configure the ip address and the default gateway to configure the ip uh, you should uh, configure the ip address on the vlan interface because this is layer 2 switch and uh, we should configure the ip address on the VLAN uh, to go to VLAN just type interface VLAN 1 now you are in the VLAN 1 and uh, assign the IP address to the VLAN 1 uh, IP address uh, 192.168.1.1 default gateway 255 255.255.0 this is the IP address now shut down now exit from here and assign the default gateway to the switch IP default gateway gateway 192.168.1.1 dot 254 this is the default gateway for the switch uh, what's uh, uh, the wrong with the command here uh, you should uh, delete the space and instead of space you need to write the dash sign now just enter now the default gateway is configured successfully now we are going to configure the ssh to configure the ssh you need to follow some of the steps uh, which uh, which are here the first step is uh, uh, changing the host name and then uh, configuring the domain name then generating the crypto key or SSH key then the fourth step is creating a user and at the end you need to enable the SSH okay now I'm in the global configuration mode uh, let me change the host name the host name is host name SW1 now the host name is changed to SW1 now uh, let me configure domain name ip ip domain name cisco.com now the domain name is also configured the domain name is cisco.com uh, let me generate crypto key uh, here is the command crypto key generate RSA uh, now it wants uh, 
the crypto key bits uh, it is starting from 360 to 2048 uh, the bigger the number the stronger the key so I'm giving here 1024 uh, now the crypto key is also generated now uh, type the other commands uh, here uh, let me configure the the VTY lines uh, to configure VTY lines here is a command line VTY 0 to 15 I'm uh, configuring 16 lines 0 to 15 okay the line has been enabled successfully now you need to input the SSH transport input SSH now the SSH is uh, configured enabled successfully now you need to log in local now uh, I'm just uh, uh, exiting from this uh, line exit and you need to uh, set username username for example uh, admin password admin okay uh, now the username is and password is also uh, configured successfully now you need to uh, to define the version IP version IP version IP SSH version version 2 now it is also configured successfully and you need to configure enable secret password to enable secret uh, for example Cisco 1 2 3 and exit from the global configuration mode and save the changes simply there is a command write now the changes are saved successfully now you need to go to PC and go to desktop IP configuration uh, IP I am here configuring the IP 192.168.1.2 and this is the default gateway if you are in the local network so there is no need to assign the default gateway if you are and different network then you need to assign the uh, default gateway here I am assigning the default gateway 192.168.1.254 and let me check it here I am coming to the PC I am going to the command prompt and I am writing here ssh dash l what was the username the username was admin and what was the pass uh, IP address of the switch 192.168.1.1 and hit enter now it wants a password you need to enter the password you need to enter the password what was the password the password was also admin now I am in the user mode to go to enable uh, uh, to go to privilege mode you need to enter the enable secret password and enable secret password was Cisco uh, let me type the command enable and now enter the password Cisco123 now I am in the privilege mode to go to global configuration mode you need to write the command configure terminal now you are in the global configuration mode and uh, let me type a command do show 
VLAN brief so this is the information about the VLANs uh, so in this way you can configure the SSH I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you goodbye